Hello and welcome to Surf's Up with me, Agam Vakil on Bloomberg Quint. And as usual, we're here to get a perspective and ideas on the futures and options space in Indian equities. The new lifetime highs for the Nifty 50 index are here. The India Volatility Index is trading near record lows. But while there is substantial accumulation of open interest in the 8,800 and the 8,900 puts, which does indicate an upward formation of base, there is also on the upside maximum open interest, which lies in 9,200 for now. The question then is, now that the indices have moved into uncharted territory, how much more room is there for an upside and can we expect some consolidation going in? Let's find out. Joining us today and guiding us through these waves of open interest is Aditya Garwal of b 2 Wealth Securities. Good morning, Aditya, and thanks for joining us. And with that, I'm going to ask you, well, where are indices headed? Can we see even higher levels from here, considering the fact that we have moved into uh, an uncharted territory? Uh, morning, Adam. Well, definitely markets are in uh, are on uh, upside movement, and we will continue to see some upside movement for short term. But on higher side now, 9200 is a major resistance level, as you rightly pointed out. That uh, we are seeing a lot of writing at 9200 call option, and that will continue to act as a strong resistance zone for Nifty. Uh, so yes, from these levels, if we see then 50, 60 points upside for the short term is quite possible. But we are expecting that Nifty may see some uh, profit booking from the higher levels if Nifty comes in the range of 918092. Uh, Double zero level. Uh, that will be a time where one can uh, look to book profit in the trading long position at least. Uh, but uh, yes, on the downside also, we are not expecting any major correction. Uh, on lower side, 9,000 will act as a very strong support zone for Nifty. So we are expecting market to trade in a range of 9,000 to 9,200 for next couple of trading sessions, but with positive biasness. Still, we are seeing a lot of buying in mid-cap banking and large uh, mid-cap uh, stocks and large-cap stocks also. So that will continue to provide support uh, to Nifty at lower level. So we are bullish on market. But at 9200 levels, we would advise to book profit in trading long positions. So for now, Aditya, if anyone were to make or take positions in the markets for now, what would you advise them to do? How would you advise them to go about things? Well, uh, it, it would be a long positions only as overall momentum of market is quite positive. If someone is looking to make long position in Nifty, then I would advise uh, to buy at current levels with a stop loss of 9123 in spot. And on the higher side, I'm expecting target of 9180, 9190. Uh, similarly, if someone is looking to make long position in stocks, then in, in banking stocks, we are quite positive. And ICSA Bank is one stock which saw some good moment in the last two trading sessions. Right now, it is near this resistance zone of 287, 288 levels. But if it breaks 288, then we're expecting target of 292, 293 in intraday moment only. Uh, so one can buy uh, ICSA Bank above 288 in futures with target of 292, 293. Okay, so I'm assuming, given the fact that you are positive on ICICI, you are slightly more positive on the Nifty Bank as well in, in the index as well. Am I be, would I be correct in assuming that? Well, yes, means if we see both the indices, Nifty and Bing, Bank Nifty, both the indices are looking extremely bullish and we are expecting that upside momentum will continue. But yes, it means we have seen one-sided rally in the last couple of days. So uh, 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 I would advise not to go aggressive long in Nifty or Bank Nifty and one should look to choose, uh, look to make positions in in stocks rather than nifty or bank nifty so i i would be individual i will go long in individual stocks rather than nifty or bank nifty at current levels okay Aditya, you also mentioned icici bank are there any other stock futures or any other ideas that you'd like to give our audiences well, Hevels is another counter which has uh, seen a good moment in today's session and the stock has added almost 3% shares in open interest which on long side. Uh, so Hevels will be another stock in which one can go long at current levels. On higher side, 447, 448 is immediate target which we're expecting. And lower side, one can keep a stop loss of 432 in futures. Uh, similarly, if we see auto counters and Tata Motors, Tata Motors, DVR, both these stocks have seen, seen a severe correction in the last couple of days. But after consolidation, now we are seeing good moment in Tata Motors and Tata Motors, DVR. Uh, so in Tata Motors, DVR, if we see risk award ratios uh, is much better. One can go along at current level in Tata Motors DVR also with a stop loss of 288 in futures. And on higher side, we're expecting target of 296 to 299. Right then, derivatives come 101. And now, once again, I want to remind our audiences that we are open and inviting questions for our guests. And Aditya, the question for this week it comes from Shara Dasha, and he asks, what does a premium or a discount of futures to the underlying mean? And what does it actually signify? Well, if we see then uh, the futures 
is a leveraged product. So normally futures trade at a premium, and if the sub, if the sub future of any stock is trading at more than uh, from the regular premium, then we say that there's a buying interest in the count of in the in the futures. That's why we are seeing that premium of the future is increasing as compared to spot market. Vice versa, if we see that a future is trading at discount, that means that there is some selling pressure in the counter in futures, and someone is creating aggressive short positions in futures. That's why the the particular counter is under pressure, and the, the prices of the that particular stock future is trading at discount. So premium, if the stock is trading at premium, then in this in, this shows that the, there is lot there is buying interest in the counter, and its stock can see some higher upside. Whereas on the lower side, if stock is trading at discount, that shows that there is some selling pressure, and people are players are creating short positions, and we can see some selling pressure in the counter in coming days. Well, that is all that we have for today on Surf Stop. Once again, thank you for, for joining us, Aditya, and simplifying some of that data for our audiences. And I'll see you guys. We'll see you guys next week once again on yet another edition of Surf Stop, only on Bloomberg Quick. Thank you.